As you can see, we have uh, the lovely Jawbreakers. Now, I really loved Lost Souls. That was, like, that was probably, of the Jawbreakers, it's probably my favorite story. More so because I understood it. For this one, because I know this is the, for the God King, it's ending the uh, comic book series from we got as part of the Lost Souls, the one and two. So I did not go back and read them because I remember being horribly confused as to what was going on. And I saw the Justin Guy review of it and he was right. There's so many, there's so many questions that I was just like, you know what? I'm going to read this and take this for what it is. And I'm going to ignore the previous two because I have no idea like, I have no idea how we got to the start of <laughs> this one. <laughs> like, I will be so honest. But I will say this, like, I agree that the writing on this is so much better. So much better. Like, and I'll say, we I didn't actually need to go back and read because we got a nice little summary, which is very helpful because it gave me just kind of like what I guess I needed to know. So never fear if you did not get a chance to get the uh, Lost Souls and you don't have one or two or you didn't read one or two or any number of things, you don't necessarily have to read one or two because you'll be confused. <laughs> I'm still just like, I have to laugh because it's like, I, I'm still like, I think of it and I'm just, I'm so, I'm so confused. But I did, I did enjoy this writing better. Like when I just put aside my confusion, I just, I really enjoyed this. And so let me, uh, okay, well, let me talk about um, something that really didn't work for me just because I see it. Here, like story wise, I think it's very good. You know, like I like and enjoy the drawing of the uh, fight scenes with knife hand, but like that whole knife hand arc, like I just remember, like that was that was definitely my least favorite thing from uh, books one and two because I remember being horribly confused as to why his story mattered because in Lost Soul. In Lost Souls, we had a cohesive team. And then all of a sudden, we have like, you know, this guy just being thoroughly selfish. And then all of a sudden, you know, like we have this arc of him going after his father. And like the fighting is terrific. And like the things that we see, like, I mean, there's tons of great art and whatnot involved in this and so like visually it worked storytelling wise it just I just I didn't even understand how or why it mattered and so like I mean for next time I would just say really think about these things because I understand that there's you know, a whole lot of stuff and a whole lot of story that probably goes on inside of your head and stuff like that. But sometimes it's like, unless it's extremely important and in this story, it really wasn't important. It might have, it might have been if we had a knife hand backstory or like if we had started with, because I do agree with just some guy. And that it feels like that there's a lot missing. And we get a lot of that kind of what was missing in um, the Devil Dog. Not this one. Like we get a lot of that in sort of like the Devil Dog story. Because it made me like, it made me really kind of like Devil Dog. So... I feel like all of this kind of came out of like all of this is kind of out of whack because now we're starting like because now we get a backstory of Devil Dog, but you know, but he's dead, <laughs> like, but he's dead, 
And so it's sort of like I get a back. I feel like it's with uh, Black Widow. So we go through and we build a relationship with Black Widow. She dies. And then we get her backstory. And this is kind of like the same thing. We have an adventure in Lost Souls with Devil Dog. We get to, you know, Jawbreakers 1 and he's dead. And then we get a backstory. And it's sort of like, but that kind of doesn't, uh, that, that kind of isn't the way that it should be. So... Yeah, that is kind of like the things that did not work. And so, um, the knife hand story, just, it didn't work for me. But I think it kept to the main story. It did work. I like the sacrifices. I think they worked out really well. I loved the God King hero. And I wish that we had a longer time to get to know him as well like one of my uh one of my favorite one of my favorite villains is lex luther and it's because even when in uh the dc rebirth when you had lex luther being a good guy i still did not trust him because i so hated lex luther from my years of reading the Superman comics. And like, I feel like God King could have definitely been on that part. So like, take that as like, I mean, that's, for me, that is a huge compliment because I think that like, given more time with God King, it could have been like, you could have made a extremely epic villain. And that's not to say that you can't go back and give us more backstory and whatnot. I mean, like, I feel like with something like this, and I'm kind of like, I'm like, I'm with you guy. I hate that this mess had to happen because I think that this is definitely something like jawbreakers is something that I do think needs to be in comic book stores. I will say that because it is a really good series. Like I would suggest, like I would suggest like a kind of like hard <laughs> or even like a soft, but like I would suggest a reboot, like, give us like from the beginning and I know like it's part of like I think it's part of your plan like backstories and more adventures and things like that but like man I kind of wish you would have held off on these stories to really kind of give us like the from the beginning kind of thing because then by the time we would have got here where a lot of them were you know, sacrificing themselves and whatnot. Oh man, the impact that that would have had emotionally on a fan base would have been, it would have been incredible and it would have been epic. And I wish you had done that. The art is definitely something that I really, really, really enjoy. So yeah, like, I mean, this is something that I, I probably... If I had seen it in the comic book store, I would have flipped through it and I probably would have, uh, look at that face. <laughs> look at that face. And I would have given it, I would have given it a chance. I wish, I, I do wish that it was from, I just wish that it was from the beginning and not, you know, like the end story kind of thing. Uh, let me get to the Zashi Respawn. that I didn't understand at all. But I <laughs> and I'm laughing because I want to know more about this guy. Like I really 
I really, really do. Like, he was a successful character to me in Lost Souls. And I know we don't see him a whole lot. But I, like, I love him. And it's sort of like the same thing with, um, that is like kind of like the same thing that I had with, um, Cyber Frog, where it's like, I know for me, and yeah, it's it's not necessarily, like, it's probably just a quirk of me where sometimes I really end up liking kind of like minor characters, but I also feel like the way that they talk and the relationship that they have, that he probably is not really a minor character, but, um, but yeah, like, I... <laughs> This is a successful, this is a successful character to me. Cuffs is also a successful character to me because I like, uh, I get Cuffs humor and I like his humor. But, um, yeah, that's like, I really did enjoy, I enjoyed God King and it really kind of made me want more and be like not satisfied with things like I'm, I'm satisfied with the ending like I'll say that I'm actually satisfied with the ending so I don't have a problem with the ending like I'm satisfied with the way that it ended but I'm like dissatisfied with all the missing pieces and I wish that there was a whole lot more that we had gotten before and I think it's one of those things that would probably be interesting that when it is all over like if you go back and you go to um like if you go back Zach and you go you go back to like the backstories and you go back to the other adventures and things like that I think it'll be really successful and I think like when you kind of sit down with all the pieces like once all the pieces come I think it'll be a really satisfying story so that is a high compliment from me um Yes, the, the Zashi, which I do have for the print. And like, it's, it's one of those, it's one of those awkward things because I love, like, I love the artwork, but I'm a straight woman. <laughs> so it's kind of like, I just, I kind of look at it and I go, okay, I own that. And like... I'm not likely to want to put it up or anything. Like, I'm not likely to want to frame it because as as wonderful as it is, it, it, you know, like, I'm straight. <laughs> so I don't really, I, I don't really find much interest in female pinups. But, I mean, like, I'm probably one of the few female uh fans and audience members so I don't like I don't complain or anything like that or ask for equal representation but I just like I just find it funny because it's like I do like I do like to look at it but then I have to laugh because it's like I would be more satisfied with a pinup of a guy but it's like I said it's because I'm straight <laughs> so then there's the final then there's the finals uh, piece, and it's the Desolation Wave, and it's the Spotlight Review. So this, I'm assuming, is a story that is going to be coming out at some point. And like, I'm more of a, I'm more of a fantasy person than I am a sci-fi person, but I think sci-fi works really well in comics. And, uh, like, even though the tone of this, like, really has, like, nothing to do with a superhero comic or anything like that, for me, who I probably would be interested or, yeah, I probably.